Hey there, it's Michael from Apps Every Day, and today we're checking out Darkroom. This by far is my favorite photo editing app on both uh, iPhone and iPad. And when you first bring it up, it basically opens up your library across the bottom. Uh, you see Recents, so just like your Photos app, it's going to bring up all your recent photos. Uh, and then you can go right to your favorites and even the ones you've already edited within the app. You also have your settings in the top left where you can uh, designate quite a few different settings in here. I'm not going to take the time to go through all that, but I definitely recommend checking out the different export options, hashtag settings, um, and sets that you can make so that if you're going right to Instagram, you can even copy some straight up uh, hashtags and make it easier on yourself while posting there. But today we're going to focus on the actual editing features. I'm just going to choose this photo right here. And you'll notice at the top, one of the newer changes is they added a histogram, which you can easily hide if you want to. Um, but I like having it up there. So that way you can tell whether or not you're clipping your highlights or crushing your blacks. Now your editing tools are going to be all across the bottom and they're pretty standard, but they're very robust compared to a lot of apps out there. So your first one is going to be your cropping and perspective tools. You can even change the aspect ratio. So I can go in here, maybe if this was not aligned, um, you know, straight on or anything, I could adjust the perspective there. And then of course you can rotate, get all kinds of crazy there, put that in. And of course you can hit done. Then to the right of that, these are your different uh, filters. Now. Uh, for free, it comes with a standard set, and then of course you can buy more. You can search by the different categories here, and of course you can tap on them and change the uh, strength. That's pretty normal, but what I really like is the fact that you can create your own filters. Basically what you can do is start with like a basic filter here, this first one a little bit, and then you can go over to the next tab where you can actually define all of the uh, different settings such as your highlights, add a vignette, fade, uh, color temperature, brightness, contrast, all that good stuff. Uh, even change curve levels over here. That's one of the pro features I know. Um, and then basically if you really like the look that you've created, you can come back over here uh, to your filter page and hit create new filter, name it something. And then you'll notice here that under my filters, it will basically have uh, all your saved presets, which make it look like anything else. So that's really nice. If you have uh, batch editing that you need to do, you can do it right in here. As I mentioned to the right of that, these are your standard controls for um, changing brightness and contrast and all that good stuff. Nothing too crazy in here, but what is cool is if you choose a photo with uh, depth of field, so if it has the depth effect to it, then you'll get a added um, option towards the top to where you can adjust the tint and white balance um, and some different parameters for the foreground and the background so that's pretty nice so if you want to brighten the subject in the photo and they're in focus in the front you can brighten them up while darkening the background curves of course is another way to deal with exposure on the right you of course have the highlights and on the left you have the shadows you can adjust the curves to your liking and to the right of that, you can basically choose your different color casts. Moving on one more time, you can add a glorious uh, border if you really want to, and you can even change the thickness. So if you're going to Instagram and maybe you like the white border around uh, photos, you can go to a one-to-one -one crop. It will obviously be a square, which you then can change the um, inset width of the border to make it as small or big as you'd like. Now the last button on the right is uh, a really nice one because this is basically the history and kind of reset tool. So what's really cool is you'll notice that as I scroll through here, these are all of the different changes that I've made to this photo as we've gone through it. And what's cool is if I just tap on any of them, it will basically go back to that uh, stage in the editing process. So I can tap here and it'll go back to the original border that I placed on it. Go all the way back to brightness. And then if I want to go one step further, I can do that. Maybe a couple steps more. Or of course, you can go all the way back to the original as shot. Now what's nice is if you notice when we first opened the shot, um, it didn't necessarily look like this. 
uh, it remembers all of this while it's in the app. So even if I leave the app and a week later come back to this shot, I can still go through the editing history um, and change things up if I want to. And of course, if you don't want to scroll through all this, um, you can just hit the reset button on the bottom right and it will automatically go to the um, as shot status. Now the last step to do here is obviously to export this photo. So in the top right you have your normal share button, but you have some different share settings which I really like. So one is you can choose to modify the original, which if I do that, uh, the phone is going to basically ask for your rights uh, to be like, hey, just so you know, you are modifying the original photo. Um, and therefore, like, if the original photo looked vastly different, you're basically about to burn in this new version. Um, so a lot of times I like to do save a copy, um, and that way it just exports a secondary JPEG file, and you still have your original if you ever want to make other changes. Um, or if you're not trying to save it to your phone, you're immediately trying to you know, message it off or go right to uh, Facebook or Instagram or anything like that, you can do that. You can even do copy hashtags, and again, you have your different sets here that you can create custom ones, but these are just some uh, basic ones, so I can copy portrait and whatever hashtags are in that set, uh, which again, you can change in settings, um, you can do that as well. And there you have it, guys. That's taking a look at the Darkroom app. Uh, it's free to download, but it has some pro features that you can pay for if you'd like. It will be in the top description down below. And while you're down there, you might as well hit that like button if you did. Uh, and subscribe and ring that bell so you get notified for tomorrow's episode of Apps Every Day.